Uh, yeah, it's uh, Michael Landsberg here, and I just called to say uh, how you doing and let you know that somebody's thinking about you. This is uh, the Daily Lands blog for the 25th of March, 2020. Kind of sounded creepy, didn't it? You call up and you call a stranger and leave a message and say, I'm thinking about you, but Wrigley. Honestly, he doesn't do this until... He knows when the camera's on. on. Uh, he knows I'm really cute, and I'm going to show off my face. Show that face, Riggs. Show that face. Uh, so I said uh, a couple of days ago, I said, you know, if, if you need to speak to somebody, um, then tell me, and, and I'll call. Uh, that was a bad move. Because here's the problem. Yeah, hi, uh, I left a couple of messages, which is really easy. It's kind of like that's the dream, to be able to leave a message because it's 30 seconds. Hey, folks, uh, not folks. Uh, hey, it's Michael Landsberg here. I just want to let you know that uh, I know that you're struggling. I know this is a really bad time. I know you feel isolated. You feel alone. And while I can't be there with you, I can tell you that there are people that understand you and that there are people who are with you in this fight as much as we can be with you. And hey, sometimes it just helps to hear a voice. So you're hearing my voice. That's the good thing. The bad thing is so many requests, so much loneliness out there. And when you call somebody up on the phone, you find that you can't just say, hey, I just want to call to say hi and that's it. So it becomes a 10 minute conversation and then you do the math and you go, I'm never getting through this stuff. Uh, a lot of sad stories, I have to tell you, that uh, you know, for me, it's like I had to take a break afterwards because you know, my heart goes out to people who, uh, n not really so much because they suffer from anxiety or depression. I mean, that of course is the story. But when you don't have people to share with, when you feel like you're in this alone, that is pretty heartbreaking to me. Uh, so I thought I needed to uh, give you some good news. So I'm gonna read this, I'll leave off the name, even though I'm sure she or he would not mind. Uh, uh, hi, Michael. It's Blank from Blank. I know that you're super busy with other things, and I'm so excited about you getting in touch with seniors in need. So, yeah, um, trying to do that. It was awesome meeting you last year during my darkest times. So I want to let you know this past Sunday was the one-year anniversary of me deciding to live and reaching out to the Suicide Prevention Clinic for help. I have come a long way. I couldn't have done it without the Sick Not Weak family. It's been two months since my last suicidal thought. How good is this? Yay. Anxiety and depression are never far, especially now as a frontline healthcare worker. I'm keeping afloat even though I'm separated from my family to keep them safe. Just wanted to let you know good things happen and I'm fighting for my happiness. So uh, that is, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of something that I, I needed to hear, not from a, an ego standpoint, but just I needed to hear some good news. It's a, it's just a, t a tough time, and it's, it's hit me way harder than I thought it would. And I'm a guy who suffered from chronic, severe depression and anxiety, and yet typically I'm pretty good with things like this. But the problem is there's never been something like this. So um, we're here, 24, 365. Uh, Case, could I ask people if they wanted to uh, assist in the process of calling, especially seniors? Could I do that, Case? You can do whatever you want. Okay, well, if you would be willing to, to make, let's say, three phone calls, and let's say 5,000 of you said that, that would be 15,000 phone calls. Or if two of you said it, it would be six. But either way, that's why we're here. So um, on uh, however you're going to respond... Um, say that, yes, I'm in, and we'll find a way to get in touch with you. And I think that would just be a really good thing because people need to hear, hey, you know what? You may feel like you're alone, but I'm a voice that hopefully um, you will feel like, yeah, you know what? It was good to hear it from somebody else. That's it, Case. And by the way, you had a great line when we started. I said, what's the date tomorrow? And what'd you say? Who the fuck cares? Who the fuck cares? It doesn't make any difference. They're all the same.